Right, that was pretty fat. Is that you? Is that a familiar shot? I see this shot happen a lot and I'm going to explain today the reasons why it happens and what you can do to fix it. So what most people get wrong when they pitch is they don't use their legs correctly. As they come down, instead of letting that left leg straighten and turn the hip against it and allowing the body to rotate through the shot, I see a lot of very average golfers come down and their left leg buckles. They get closer to the ground. In doing so, the leading edge gets into the ground first, hit it fat. I'm getting closer to the ground as I do that. So all these things are leading to a very fat shot. Now in summer, when the ground is hard, you might be able to get away with it and hit a half decent shot. But the moment the ground gets a bit wet and a bit sloppy, that's gonna be a really fat shot and the ball's not gonna go very far, just like that one. So what I've got here is a ball. It's a really simple drill. You can do it at home. But if I put the ball between my legs and if I can keep the ball between my legs, my knees are staying closer together and I'm turning against that left leg. It's straightening and the hip is turning. That's going to give you a much better contact and better low point control in the golf swing, meaning that the club is going to stay quite shallow. But if I come down and I do that move with my leg, the ball drops out. So if you can just get a ball or a bucket, it could be a couple of cushions, whatever's around, and just practice turning that left hip out of the way, keeping the left leg straight. But the main idea is let's keep that ball between our knees. And if we can hit a shot with the ball between our knees, it's gonna produce much better contact. You could hear that nice crisp sound. The ball flight went low, which is exactly what we want. It was high spin, the ball landed and stopped, but you could hear the sound and the contact that I made. The moment I come down and I let that left leg collapse, the ball falls out. So if you can just do a little bit of work with the ball between your legs, it's really gonna help improve your pitching. If you want to improve your pitching further, I've got another video just up here I know is going to help improve your pitching.